I'm I don't know. I'm gonna keep it rather hoodless. But. So <clears throat> I guess it's like it is. It is interesting how well, one I'm talking to you and I'm trying not to make it awkward. Um, it's not like I haven't expected or didn't. Oh my, my bosom is out. Excuse me. I didn't mean to have everything all exposed. And I have been told about this. Like, my homegirl spoke to, well, actually, it was my sister in law. She, she says, like, a, a lot of. That's not really like becoming on a man to have everything exposed. And I believe having a sense of digni dignity and tastefulness in your clothing, in your garments, uh, that does perhaps say something about your character, your mannerisms, your disposition. Maybe it, it, it shows that you can still be confident but subtle, you know, and uh, I guess I've had to work on my subtleties, needless to say. Um, but um, I don't know. We're gonna make this vignette about. We're gonna make this vignette about my homegirl. Um, I think it was just her mannerisms. I'm supposed to be like reaching out to her soon. I haven't spoken to her in a while, but she is definitely one of the more pervasive of uh, or strong-minded homegirls that I did I have that is very much in that inner circle for that council but um one time she just said something really interesting and she was just like you know uh, you remember the saying as a kid growing up that you know like skinny girls take dick better and and I was like oh I don't I don't think I'd really know that I thought it was like you know the comparison thick girls over skinny girls and she kind of looked at me and was like come on Gabe you knew you knew that like skinny girls definitely take dick better and I don't even think it was the fact that she said it like that or if the words it wasn't the verbal technology that really tripped me out it was really just like the tone and then the like the facial expression it's like this was common knowledge you should have already known that that was the saying, but like you should already know that. Like, like that's like silly that you even thought that was not the case. So I got a skinny girls vignette. So anytime you kind of have like that feeling that you just want to promote like positive behavior, constructive behavior, and you just want to like exude that the next time you see that woman whom you are keen on, you know, whom you fancy, there's nothing wrong with this. You can just to yourself say skinny girls take dick better you ever heard skinny girls take dick skinny girls take dick skinny girls take dick better you ain't heard skinny girls take dick take it take it skinny girls take dick better you ain't heard skinny girls take dick skinny girls take dick Skinny girls take dick better. You ain't heard. Skinny girls take dick, take dick, take. Skinny girls take dick better. You ain't heard. Skinny girls take dick. Skinny girls take dick. Yo. Skinny girls take dick better. You ain't heard. Skinny girls take dick. Skinny girls take. Skinny girls take dick better. You ain't heard. Skinny girls take dick. So, that is like my skinny girls vignette. Um, use that sparingly. Honestly, that is a powerful vignette, and um, whether that's the truth or not, like let's just leave that in the air. But and leave that for the women to discuss. That's not really our uh, position as young men. You know, uh, we just want to make sure that we are promoting positive and constructive behavior that is conducive to the environment. Okay, so here we are.